So in the previous video, we went through the unboxing of the Corsair H150i Elite Capellix uh, and some brief notes on the install, how well it installed into the, uh, the Fantex P400A case that I have here. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over how to not just set up the included fans of the, uh, the unit, which are the Corsair ML120s, um, but I also mentioned in that video that I had purchased a couple of sort of generic adapters, um, which will allow a sort of more standard five volt ARGB uh, three pin uh, device, like fans or light strips to be controlled inside the IQ software. I mentioned in that video that um, current, previously I had been running everything off the uh, my gigabyte motherboards RGB Fusion 2.0 RGP control software, which um, left some thing to be desired in a few uh, areas. Um, and I had some Corsair, have Corsair RAM installed. And so I had IQ already and I wanted to kind of control as much as possible in IQ. So here we have the uh, homepage of the Corsair IQ. Um, system, so you can see the uh, H150i Elite Capellix showing up uh, there. And so if you click through there, so I've actually already set these up, but if we were on our first sort of install after connecting everything into the, the Commander Core unit that came with the H150i uh, AIO, so I actually have. Um, the three ML120 fans hooked up now, as well as uh, three Cooler Master Halo fans. Those Halo fans have uh, like RGB uh, LEDs in both the hub and in a ring on both the front and back. So quite a lot of LEDs on those fans. Um, I think the ML120s in comparison have uh, eight, yeah, just going by that um, diagram, they have only have eight LEDs inside the hub. And so the real trick, uh, I guess, to getting the other brands fans working in IQ and showing colors as you sort of expect them to show is making sure that IQ knows there is enough LEDs in that device for it to actually light them all up. Um, so I've gone through a couple of iterations through this setup wizard that we're about to run through. Um, and so what we'll cover is sort of the, what I think is a good catch all that will cover most uh, ARGB devices that are connected through it. We will go over the exact method of how I've connected these other ARGB devices into the commander core uh, later in this video. So we have all of them connected. Um, to the commander core. So what I did was run the wizard. Now, as you can see, the, so this is actually the commander core that was included in the H150i uh, box. As you can see, it's not quite a commander core XT. It doesn't have, it has one temp uh, input, one temperature sensor input. Um, Whereas the, the Commander Core XT actually has two temperature sensor inputs and comes with temperature sensor probes in the box. So the one that came with the H150i Elite Capellix doesn't come with the temperature sensors. It does still have one temperature input, but because I don't have a temperature sensor probe, I can't put anything in there. If, if you did have a temperature sensor probe or you have one from another Commander Core XT that you've purchased, then that uh, could be plugged in and would show up in Corsair IQ. But the Commander Core unit that comes with the AIO has the six uh, fan PWM outputs, input outputs, I guess, and the six RGP four pin ports. So the Corsair four pin port, as opposed to the Corsair three pin port, which is used for um, some other fans and for like their lighting, uh, some of their lighting, like lighting node pro, I want to say. Don't, maybe don't quote me on that, but it's, there's a, if you are familiar with the, the Corsair um, RGB system, there's basically four pin and three pin devices. Um, we will, again, we'll cover a bit of that later in the video because we need obviously 
to look for four pin adapters because that's what's going to plug into the commander core unit. And so really all you need to know for this next section is what fans that what the fans that came with the unit, so the ML120 fans that came with the AIO, which RGB port they're plugged into, because you'll want to run those on auto detection. We don't need to set those up manually. Um, so for my system, that was uh, port four, five, and six. One, two, and three have adapters in them with the uh, the Cooler Master fans and uh, Fantex light strips. So we're going to set those up manually. You can see it's um, just telling us it's going to auto identify what's in RGP port four, five, and six. They're the Corsair fans, so that should be no problem. It should be able to identify the Corsair fans automatically, no issue. And so now it's going to ask us what sort of series of fan um, has been plugged into RGP, the RGB ports that aren't those auto detected ports. Um, so, like I said, I've sort of tried all variety of things um, for if you don't have the exact same uh, items. Like I said, I've got a Fantex uh, ARGB lighting strip and Cooler Master Halo lights. Um, so, it all co sort of comes down to how many LEDs they have in that. Um, in the in that fan or in that light strip that you're plugging in um, i have found basically selecting the ql rgb series fan which i believe is basically rgbs in the hub um, rgbs in the ring on both sides so that's um i think sort of quite a number of um leds we got here one two. yeah so 12 uh, leds in the ring both sides 24 plus another uh, looks like another 10 in the hub back and front, like 34 LEDs. So lots of individually addressable uh, LED signals that will be being sent out by the IQ software, expecting there to be an LED on the other end, which should cover sort of most um, other brands uh, RGB devices. I'm going to select the QL RGP series fan for everything and so these lights here the red yellow green uh, blue pink and white they're actually going they're showing up on the fans in my system and so they allow you to identify sort of what does rgp port one mean so i can see that actually corresponds to two cooler master halo 140 fans that i have at the top of my case uh, the yellow is the cooler master halo 120 mil fan at the rear the green is a fantex light strip um, and the blue pink and white other corsair uh, ml fans that were auto detected and so you can move around this is sort of something that um, i did experiment with but didn't find it had much of an effect but you certainly can with these little uh, left right arrows you essentially reorientate um, the fans to match exactly what it sort of looks like here um, compared to what's in the system so and that then it goes in the, the more uh, sophisticated themes and um, sort of color um, scenes you'll see it sort of flow exactly and as sort of the the software was designed to do um, quite difficult to get that working when uh, you're using the the adapters into non-Corsair branded devices. I imagine that would be sort of a lot more important for when you are have completely Corsair sort of um, items in your system. What is somewhat useful is being able to rearrange um, sort of the order of things. Um, I'm not sure why, but you can't arrange the order of the pump. The pump has to sit at the front. But for example, at the front of my case, um, it goes pink, white, blue, from top to bottom there so it sort of makes sense to be in that arrangement um, and then front to rear so we have rear top sort of next to the motherboard is that light green light strip um, and then top to bottom at the front so you can sort of reorder these again it will sort of if you're just going like a static color or something it won't make any difference whatsoever but if you are going to go with some sort of scene that is going to move the light through the system then rearranging the order can be somewhat useful so once we're there that that's that's essentially them set up but i guess the 
trickier part of this is actually getting these items to show up in IQ in the first place. Um, and so like I mentioned in, in the previous video, um, so essentially I purchased a few adapters just from eBay um, that sort of specifically took the Corsair four pin RGB uh, connector into uh, a sort of a, the more standard five volt ARGB three pin connector where it's like um, five volt space uh, ground and data, I believe are the three pins. Maybe the space is in somewhere else, but it's ground uh, data, five volt pins and a space. Um, and so what we have here, if I swap across. Okay. Okay, so that should be showing up now. So just showing you sort of, this is the, the search that I basically did. So what I was finding is this RGB fan hub is sort of the four pin Corsair connector, whereas like RGB connector was the three pin variety. Um, so I can show you, this is the, uh, the actual listing that, that I purchased. Um, I can put a link to this um, in, in the description, but obviously I'm in Australia. I imagine if you're in the US or in Europe, um, and I was finding a lot of results were sort of US or, or Europe based. So you'll probably have a lot more options for this, um, but um, whether it's from like Amazon or whatever, you, you just have a lot more options for this. But so this is sort of what you're specifically looking for. Um, again, for getting a standard sort of five volt ARGB device into the Corsair Commander. Okay, so something that says something like this, so four pin RGB um, into a five, in, five volt three pin ARGB. And you can see sort of close ups of the connectors there. So that's sort of our standard five volt ARGB uh, three pin connector. Uh, so another look at it. And so you can see there the, uh, the four pin, that's there. So that's a four pin Corsair header. So if we go further down here, we can probably see all these again, yeah. And it's just showing that this particular item, so like, what, like the Commander Pro, um, it's only got, it's got the three pin Corsair connectors. Um, same with the Lightning Node Pro. You can see that these are the different Corsair items that I mentioned earlier, as you can see, they're all quite similarly named, um, but they, they take completely different connectors. So the Lighting Node Pro and the Commander Pro take the three pin Corsair connector, the RGB Fan LED Hub, the Lighting Node Core and the Commander Core and Commander Core XT. And so the Commander Core that came with the Corsair H150i Elite Capellix and the Corsair Commander Core XT, um, sort of standalone control unit. They take the four pin connector, which is what uh, what I needed here. And like I said, what goes into the Corsair uh, Commander Core unit. So that's what you, what you need to buy if you're just gonna connect a, so standard five volt three pin ARGB, just that's basically what's on all the motherboards. So if something can, is sort of showing is being compatible with like, yeah, sort of um, Aura, um, whatever the ASUS, RGB software is Gigabyte RGB Fusion, uh, Mystic Light. Is anything I think is Asus Aura, MSI Mystic Light, um, all of them. Generally, that means that that device has one of these five volt three pin ARGB headers, and so you can use one of these adapters to then instead of put it into the motherboard and controlled by the motherboard software, whatever that is, um, can be controlled by IQ. So this is an example of sort of what not to buy um, in the case of trying to connect to a Commander Core or Core XT, one of the, the four pin ones, because this is a three pin connector, a Corsair three pin connector model. And so this would be used to connect to a, basically one of these ones that we were told not to here. So a Lighting Node Pro or a Commander Pro, you would use a, uh, this this adapter which takes the same five pin five pin sorry five volt three pin ARGB 
and uh, would put it into like a Commander Pro or a Lighting Node Pro device. So just something, a few things to watch out for when you are setting setting up in Corsair. So when you're connecting the devices, like I said, I've actually got two 140 mil Cooler Master Halo fans um, connected to the same header, and they seem to sort of light up with no issues. There's no sort of blank spots um, on the LEDs. Um, the the Fantex light strips were a bit of a pain. I couldn't connect two of those to the same header um, without resulting in sort of just half the strip being left blank because there wasn't enough. I guess they have too many LEDs to what um, the IQ software is expecting in a single QL fan. Um, so yeah, so two fans, one lighting strip is about all you can do. So I actually end up having to take uh, one of the, the Fantex light strips that I have in my system back out and just plug that back into the motherboard and control that on the, the Gigabyte RGB Fusion again. Same with the RGB coming from my graphics card. It plugs into a, a 5 volt 3 pin RGB header. So they're effectively just back connected to the motherboard. And so they'll have to sort of not sort of participate in the, um, the fancy scene um, that you might use, like, you know, your rainbow waves or um, you know, whatever you want to sort of set up um, with uh, in the Corsair system. As you see, I've, not, I've only sort of done one custom scene so far, so um, a bit more setup for me to do there. But so like this one, this visor, it sort of runs through that order that you've set up um, here effectively and sort of goes around all the LEDs as, as you go. Let's actually see it run through there and it'll come back to the QLs onto the pump and then back through again. So that's sort of one of the effects that you want to get the order kind of looking somewhat right compared to what your, uh, what your system looks like. Uh, so again, any questions, just like my last video, drop them in the comments. I'm keen to hear um, whether like any tips, even any suggestions on how to improve my setup. Um, please drop me in the comments. Be really keen to hear any feedback. And also, this is like my second video that I'm uploading to YouTube. So tips, tricks, how I can improve things. That would be awesome. Because, um, yeah, I'm keen to do some more sort of tech reviews. Thanks, guys.